once again the americans are preparing for the end now when i read this i actually had to rub my eyes get some eye drops bleach them clean them make sure everything was functioning and that my eyeballs were not lying to me but america is preparing for the end i don't know what the fuck they think is going to happen i know russia and ukraine are like fighting in a war but have you seen the news they are having a test on the 4th of october for a national emergency alert system so what this means your phone will make an extremely horrible noise Or like someone in, you know, school shooting and they have that thing that someone in the area has got a gun. Me, 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 me. So what are they preparing for? If you do a test for something, it's so that it works, isn't it? You know, you get people coming into schools, you get people coming into buildings to test fire alarms so that when someone does have a cigarette in the toilet and burns everyone down, you know that the system works and that you can prepare to get out. So what are they preparing for? It seems like a bit of a funny one to me. It's like trying to s scare the public into telling them what's going on. An emergency alert system that makes a horrific noise and tells you look it's going to say national alert this is a test of the national wireless emergency alert system if i got that in my country in england i would shit myself i would think the fucking french are coming over on boats and they are about to plunge their croissants into my eyeballs and drown me in red wine it's incredibly racist it's super racist because why do you need this it's very confusing to me as a non-american i'm concerned it's like they know something no one else does what are they expecting do they think there's going to be a war? Are they expecting people to have a national, you know, like when people went in the White House and took it over, are they going to say, yo, we're getting a civil war right now. This is Captain America's Civil War Part 2, but happening in real life and not on your big screen. Now the alert will say this is a test. A test. Again, a test is usually preparing you for something. When you do your mock tests, you're preparing for your tests, your real thing. They always come, they always arrive, don't they? But this system is clearly in place to do something and actually, well, work you'd think wouldn't you you want something if you're gonna get a sh horrible noise on your phone telling you we're getting invaded we're getting invaded beep 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 get on get on the boat flee hide in your underground nuclear bunkers you would hope hope it works a test for what? So, what what can you expect as an Americano coming out of your iPhones or Samsungs if you're one of them? Expect a loud noise on your phone around the designated time on October 4th. So that's coming on soon. Accompanied by a vibration. So it's going to be like your mum's dildo's gone off in her suitcase and it's <laughs> when you're in the airport and you're like, what the fuck is going on here? What's going on? Oh, oh mum, mum's done it again. Once you've received, you should be able to dismiss, dismiss the notification and continue as normal. So once you shit yourself, pee yourself, run around like a headless chicken because you've got an alert saying that the Russians are coming over via boats or a nuclear bomb is getting dropped on our heads by the Chinese. But don't worry, remain calm. Just carry on like it's not even happened. Everything happens for a reason, doesn't it? Your cell phone, oh my god, so it's all electronic devices, cell phones, TVs, radios. That's even worrying. That I would shit myself. That means something's about to happen. You don't do a test, you don't do a practice unless you hope it works for when the real thing comes along the americans know something we don't i promise you they are preparing for the end just imagine that the zombies are coming stay inside you'll be like no shit or oh, imagine vladimir's riding a bear and he's on his way to invade no oh my god what the hell it just seems a bit like a worrying factor i would be very nervous and look it's happening in every state look at all these states all different times is that really really different times hi 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 has to what does that mean? Hawaii Standard Time. Mountain Central Time. Eastern Time, is it? Pedita? Pacific to Time? Uh oh, retard alert! He will say, This is a test of the National Wireless Emergent Alert System. No action is needed. Okay, thank you. Cheers. Cheers, Biden. Just scare me and make me think that something's happening. Tomorrow morning, an alarm will go off on your cell phone. It's going to happen to every cell phone across the country. Uh, it's part of a nationwide emergency alert test for FEMA. So it's scheduled 1120 in the morning. The test will be done in two parts. Cell phones, and then the other will be radios and TV stations. The alert Radios as well. You would be crapping your undie pants. Imagine that. Hey, you're in an office and just suddenly everyone's phone starts making a horrible noise. The zombies are coming. There has been a disease that turns people into the bloody walking dead. Get inside. Get your spears. Get your tins. Get your whatever else you need. Your cars. Barricade the doors. Life is in America is over.
will sound even if your phone is silenced. So don't be yeah. alarmed. We're giving you the heads up and, now. And if you're sleeping, leave your phone in another room. I was worried at first. <laughs> I thought that it was going to happen at 2 a.m. Imagine that. Even if your phone's on silent. I mean, uh, uh, at least you know it works, though, because if your phone was on silent, imagine that the, the Russians are coming and you're just looking outside. Why is everyone running? What's going on outside? Look at these idiots. They clearly think. And it's like, shit, my phone was on silent. Get to the closest nuclear vault, like we're playing Fallout. <laughs> nuclear bombs are inbound. You're like, shit, I should have got a head start. You get there, there's just a huge queue, and you're just, you're dead. It's over. You're toasted. You're turned into a ham panini that your mum's made you for lunchtime. It is over. Sandwich. <laughs> Done. You there, listening. If you're listening, you're probably not. What do you think this is about? Personally, they clearly smell something in the atmosphere. They're going... <laughs> Either a meteor, an apocalypse, a virus that turns people crazy, turns them into cannibals, nuclear warfare, an invasion, maybe a new forest fire, they, they seem to be rampaging the world, maybe a flash flood, fuck it, New York's been underwater, haven't they? Fucking Finding Nemo's got a really large home now. What else could there be? What else could end the world? I mean, I'm sure there's fucking loads of things, isn't there? None, none are quite exciting as apocalypse, though, if I, uh, a zombie apocalypse, if I wanted, you know, if the world was going to end, oh no, I think it'd be quite exciting. The zombie apocalypse, like The Last of Us, yes please mate, I would love that. I've got me planned down, I know what I'm doing, where I'm going, who I'm saving, what sort of weapon I'm using oh mate i've got it down to a t i remember once i got an advent calendar uh not an advent calendar you know like in your stockings for christmas how to survive a zombie apocalypse i've never read it but it's there for when the day comes because mark my words boys and girls mark my words the day will come when we need to uh use our survival instinct shall we say because my god our governments won't help us just imagine that a meteor is coming to land on earth good luck <laughs> You'd be like, oh shit, well, what? if a meteor came, that'd be rubbish, you know what I mean? I want like a zombie apocalypse, I want a virus where you can still live and like, you see society fall, but you know, you and your family live there, that's T's and C's. Or like, imagine doing a VR game, maybe that'd be a lot of funner. When VR takes off and you just sort of sit there, and you go, hmm, I died after 30 seconds, thank God this wasn't real life and was an actual VR game. I mean, you guys let me know though, I really want to hear your thoughts, what do you think of this? Is this them genuinely just testing? I think though, all tests are meant to be used for the real thing so amen bros amen you guys let me know down below you enjoyed it at any time I'm not going to force you to leave a like but it just helps it spread into the atmosphere like the gas does when we get bombed by the bloody germans for a third time whatever you go just i appreciate you watching thanks so much bros and hoes actually that's a bit rude isn't it how can you be a bro or a hoe you're not you're a bro and a sis cheers sis sister fister oh dear i'm sorry i won't say that again